All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, stream survivor rank that isn't open yet because reasons. I'm just gonna be here slightly early, kind of hang out a little bit before stuff happens. Have some chatting to do today. I right, got um, got a couple things I do want to actually cover on and talk about actually I have, I have a lot of things well I may okay maybe not that many things I have some things all right there are things things that will be talked about crazy I know it's insane me talking about stuff bananas I'm gonna go ahead and do some stream settings real quick What's up, Razel? How's it going? But yeah, there is there there's there's topics to be to be actually chatted about today. What should what should we do for a poll? What, what's a what's a what's a good poll question for today? I don't even know. Hmm. I don't know. I like asking the polls because it's like engagement boosting. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a good question. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll think about it for a while. Hmm. Feeling like a limbo. That's a strange feeling. That is really, really strange. Not sure if it's like a good or a bad thing. It kind of sounds like a, like almost like nostalgia feeling. Not really the same thing, but kind of the way you feel when you get like a big hit of nostalgia. It's like it feels like good, but also bad, but also good, but you hate it. You know, I'm trying like okay, maybe this doesn't make any sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Chad. Oh my god. I don't want your postage stamp package thing. Perfectly described it. Yeah, let's go. It's good at doing something for once. Oh, by the way, should mention this as well. I did fix the thing with my changing expressions. Um, I, I messed around and the hotkeys are different now, so in the future, if I'm ever scrubbing through YouTube videos, it should not change my face to something different. Which is nice. The weird thing is, alright, and there is a weird thing, is that whenever I have the game, for some reason it's specifically this game, whenever I have it open, like, I cannot use global hotkeys. I can use them if I have anything else focused or full screen, but for whatever reason, specifically IDV, it, it won't it won't do it. It's, it's great. Anyway, um, here we go. I'm just gonna do like a kind of a silly poll question. Actually, I still don't know. I, I have an idea, but I don't like the idea anymore very much. I mean, you could start a QA. and a I don't even know what a QA and a is. Wait, hold on. What's a, what's a Q and a Oh, it's just an actual q and a I thought it'd be something different because I'm like... See, that, that confuses me. Alright, oh wow. Okay, let's not lag, please. But yeah, that confuses me mildly because, like, to me, maybe it's for, like, a thing for bigger streamers. But for me, if, like, people ask, ask me questions, I'm like, obviously I'm going to answer it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how could I not? I don't know. Whatever. I digress. Think of a... I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe something will come up in conversation. 
That'll be a good poll question. Oh gosh, no, not the puppeteer. I have trauma from puppeteer from my yesterday's rank session, dude. Holy smokes. Like, I just, I had, I had some, some rough games yesterday. <laughs> like, I kept losing so many times, and there was nothing I could do about any of it. So at the end of it, I just started, I, I gave up, and I just started spamming uh, Wildling games. Because... <laughs> Wildling is kind of like free real estate. Uh, if you want to, like, kind of cheese points. Because it's... It's kind of good because you can be near the hunter a lot. Like, you can really... You can kite a long time. Like, Wildling is great for getting points. But, like, not a lot of points. Because... I, I don't know. Maybe if you're good with Wildling. He's a good character to pick up. I have really... You know, I have really been coming around to Wildling. You know what? Like, I really have been. I always considered Wildling, like, a really bad character. Uh, even up until pretty recently, I was like, I, you know, he gets some usability, but I don't like him. But I've been coming around, alright? I am a Wildling fan, chat. I have become an actual Wildling fan as of late. Oh, I'm not a fan of that, though. I'm not a fan of that, though. Oh, and they're going for me, of course. And no one else got... Yeah, of course no one else would get charges, because why would they do that? Oh, did I bamboozle him? Yeah, I bamboozled him, chat. Enough time for other people to get charges, anyway. Yeah, he's just gonna do that and dip. That's fair. It's a free hit for me. Not ideal. Yeah, the reason why Wildling isn't really used all that often, Razel, is... Bro, psychologist trolling, no, why would you change the charge, though? I got- well, I guess... God damn it, now I can't rescue, I should have changed mine also, if psychologist- Psychologist? It's fine. But yeah, the reason that, um, he's not used very much is due to the fact that he decodes super slowly. I, th I think we lost, actually. I think this game's just over. Due to how the charges were managed. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I, th I think the game's just over. Yeah, it's slower than Merc. It's like a really, really long... Like, it's like a really big decoding debuff. I don't remember quite how slow it is, but it's like really, really long. He is, like, different than Mercenary, though, for, like, a lot of reasons, is he can... He doesn't really mind getting cut off from the chair, which is really nice about him. Okay. Whatever. You can do this. I don't really care. You give away a free rescue. I still have pocket watches. Oh, he's actually just going for me. Uh, please tell me I can escape. I can't escape. Wow. He had a, he had a lot of uh, balls saved up to use there. Yeah, this is an aggressive hermit. I mean, this is kind of how you need to play hermit. But the early game, the early game failed literally because psychologist just changed the charge like the way she did. I think I'm gonna go back to spamming Wildling Games chat. <laughs> I'm so done with this. I'm so done with teammates right now. This is, this is funny, funny experiences for uh, what we're gonna be discussing a little bit later on. But like, I just, oh my gosh, I can't feel like anyone on my team is like being helpful recently. Like, no one knows how to play. So frustrating.
And it's like, this is, I don't know, no big problem with this. Uh, anyway, I digress. We'll, we'll talk about this later. And right, we'll discuss this in great detail in the future. I'm actually surprised he missed me with that uh, Eye of Sauron. I actually got to do my job and rescue him. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy indeed. I don't even know really how to play this. Because I don't want to go rescue because he knows where I am. He's just going to cut me off. Like that, basically. I feel like I might have been too reserved with my watches this game. Well, I say that, and then I proceed to still not use my watches. Oh, maybe I can... Wait, maybe this can still be okay, though, because of the connection. He didn't break it. Maybe this can still be a thing? Oh, gosh, dang it. What's up, cookies? How's it going? I don't know, this is close. It depends if I can self-heal, if they can kite long enough for me to self-heal. Never mind. It could have it could have existed. Maybe I think I shouldn't have tried to transfer progress. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Oh, that's nothing! Wait, where is- where'd that charge go? Oh, it's on the siphon. Oh, yeah, that's great. I'm just gonna pop it and try to do some cheesy shit. Cause I still have a watch to use. And Puppeteer didn't go to the gate, oh. <sighs> I really don't like that you can just, like, Deny rescues like that. It's really annoying. One of the many reasons why I really dislike playing against Hermit. One of the many, many, many reasons. Wow, he actually swung at that. That's crazy. Yeah, GG. Hermit's such an unfun character, man. Like to just... If I could never play against Hermit, I would choose to never play against Hermit. <laughs> it's fucking annoying, bro. Every part of him just is... Ugh. I'd rather play against an Ivy, I'd rather play against an Opera Singer, like, Hermit is just not fun. Like, there's so much... The thing about Hermit, you know why I think Hermit is actually... ...as unfun as he is? Is because it relies on teammates more than usual.
Oh, well, maybe that's what it is. This hermit, re re like, requires your teammates to, like, all be on the same page with the strategy with how to counter him. And people are generally not that. And it makes it super frustrating. Maybe, I wonder if that's just why. He's as irritating as he is. Could be. Oh, this is on the other side? That's annoying. I guess it is more of like a central... I don't know, statue thing. Yeah. I don't know. This this all kind of is similar to what I want to you know, discuss later. Yeah, like, uh, I want to... Basically, I want to go over, like, the video that Black Phoenix posted. I'm not going to, like, play it. But I wrote down, like, the key notes. I want to talk about them. Because while I disagree with Black Phoenix over a lot of things... And I feel like a lot of his opinions are just, they do not, they're not the same as mine. I mean, we have very different takes on a lot of stuff concerning this game. Uh, I did actually find myself very much agreeing with a lot of the stuff he said in the previous video. And, yeah, I mean, you know, covering this game for as long as I've covered this game, right? Like, I've, I've experienced... Uh, burnout as well. Not even just covering it on YouTube, but um, just playing it in general. It is very much a game you get burnt out of. And it is for this. I think there's a lot of... I, I don't know. The, the main thing is this game has become extremely competitive, right? I mean, well, I'll go through like the whole... The whole nine yards and discuss it maybe like halfway-ish through the stream. The game is very hyper-competitive. And a lot of the time, you can't carry the game by yourself as Survivor, which makes it frustrating. You have to... And, and this is why playing with randoms is so frustrating. Even a lot of times, randoms aren't bad. We just have different ideas on how to counter things. And because the ping system a lot of the time isn't good enough to communicate properly all of the ideas that we have on how we want to play, it, it makes it super frustrating. You know, because as a lot of people want to say, the game is very cut and dry. Can we stop playing Puppeteer? Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? I'm not even- I'm not even playing for comp. I don't even care. I- alright? I'm playing for myself. <laughs> but yeah, like, see, here's a perfect example. <laughs> there is a perfect example. It's like, I don't like puppeteers on my team, alright? I don't think puppeteer is good. That some people do. And here we are. It's just how it is. But yeah, as, as I was saying, um, there's a lot of reliance on your team. And this is because of um, pro play. Um, there's a lot of reliance on your team to play and support. And this is this is the meta of the game right now. And, you know, I predicted this in a video on the second channels where I said this, but I really think the future of the game is, you know, progressing into more and more support style play. Where you are picking characters for their kiting abilities and their abilities to, to support your team. Like, having a secondary supporting tool is going to be, is, is really important now and it's going to continue to become more and more important, uh, in my opinion. And it's just, it, it makes solo queuing rank, even duo queuing, very difficult. 
Wildling is considered a rescuer. That consideration is not that correct, I would say. He can rescue, but that's not where his strengths are for the most part. What's up, Venti? How's it going? How's your day, Ben? And, and I, yeah, see, see, this is why Wildling is great. You can just... If I was, like, mercenary there, Nightwatch might have chased me. Any other rescuer, Nightwatch might have chased me. I can just, like, decode in peace. As Wildling, that's a great thing about him. He's just un he's just unchaseable for the hunters. Even a, even a Night Watch, right? You just can't chase Wildling, period. So he's nice for that. How's it going, Raimi? Welcome. Long time no see. How have things been? It's good to see you again. Yeah. Wildling, I've discovered, is just it's such a great character for solo queuing. Because he's unchaseable. If the hunter does chase him, he gets guaranteed fairly long chase. He can do harassing stuff, so he can accumulate points pretty easy. And then, his decoding is his only weak part, but decoding doesn't get you points, so... Yeah. Oh no, awake for 36 hours? That sounds terrible. I hope you get some rest soon, Venti. Jeez. That is... That that sounds very painful. Alright, Puppeteer is just gonna go... Do-do-do-do-do. Pretend like everything is fine. I'm sorry to hear this semester was a nightmare for you, Raimi. That's painful. School can- school- school hard. School difficult sometimes. <laughs> and I hope you can, uh, hope you can catch a break soon. Just gonna get a head start on getting over here. I want to not use my boar if I can help it. That way I can go on it after the fact. I'm okay. I can't help it. I'm gonna have to. This is the nice part about wildling, though. It doesn't matter if the hunter, you know, does shit like this, and I can still wait at the chair and stuff. You know, I can still. I can do. I can do funny, funny wildling things. Oh, I, or I can get terror shocked like a noob. Oh, and the teleport. Yeah, I threw. Threw that game out the window completely. That was a good prediction from him. I tried to get off the chair, but he just swung at the right time. Well played. It was a winning, it was a winning game. I turned it into drawing, and that's my bad. At least we have an embalmer, just can do that. I should have, I should have, I, I didn't listen to my first instinct, which was to, um, just rescue straight away. I tried to be, like, greedy with it. It's my mistake, I already greeted it enough, I didn't need to do more. I think he had the, um, the trait that allows him to swing faster. Yeah. Sharks can have cancer? That's interesting. I mean, I... I'm probably too dumb to understand why. Right, like, my, my brain too smooth for that, probably, but... That's really cool that if that's, like... That that's just the case. Animals can be amazing. Honestly, like, just genetics and stuff can be really interesting like that. I'm gonna go harass him off of the cipher. Or our fucking embalmer just is not gonna... Is not gonna keep decoding on it and is gonna not... Just, oh my god, and he's gonna leave me to die. I'm mad. 
Why did you not just keep decoding on the cipher? I was gonna go, like, irritate him with the. Uh... You know, whatever. I can't talk. I I chucked this game out the window already. I, I don't got I don't got any legs to stand on. It's over, though. See, that's what I mean about being on different wavelengths. I don't know, maybe wavelengths just isn't the right word to say it, but... Like, just having different ideas. Like, I'm like, oh, I'll go on the pig, and then the... The bomber can finish the cipher, but he just books it off of the cipher, and, like, how the fuck do you communicate that with pings, right? Like, that's the issue with it. You know, we both go with our own plan, and it just doesn't work out. I can at least use this to go successfully rescue. Unless Puppeteer goes, which will annoy me greatly. Yeah, it annoyed me greatly. I'm just gonna go force it with Tide Turner. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go tell your mom how good you are, Mr. Nightwatch. Oh, bro, it's gonna be like 1% off. And Balmer's just doing a coffin for some reason. How'd that... How did that open Microsoft Edge and Discord? What the hell? That's crazy. Oops, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I have hockeys to switch my scenes now. That's why I accidentally switched my face instead. Poor keyboard. I didn't even hit my keyboard. I hit my desk. <laughs> Which is why I was so confused. I have actually zero idea why that opened programs. It's interesting. But yeah, that's a frustrating game. I messed up a lot there. I made a lot of mistakes. That Terror Shock was big. I don't know. I feel like I'm not playing as good as I should be recently. I'm just not playing, uh, just not playing optimally. This is always what it is when I, like, start to get into higher tiers, though. It's like... I don't know. It's not even that high tier. It's just... I feel like my, like, my mechanical abilities just suck. <laughs> like, with the terror shock, it's like, I tried to get off of the chair, but uh, it just, it wasn't there. Like, I didn't successfully go off the chair. Like, it wasn't like I was trying to rescue. Like, I wanted to do one fake out rescue and then go for it. But it's like, I just didn't successfully do it. Which is, and this is, this is why I can never be, like, a super high tier player, is that reason. Yeah, the Bloody Queen SS tier is really cool. Yeah, you can join if you want cookies. Yeah. Ah, don't worry, Raimi. Alright. If, if you're ever worried about being bad, alright, Uncle Seven over here is ten times worse, trust me. Oh, no, it's the Soul Weaver. Oh, dear. Not the Soul Weaver skins. I hate Soul Weaver. <laughs> but yeah, I am definitely... I'm playing quite terribly right now. Wrong Soul Weaver is just 
I don't know, Soul Weaver's scary. Okay, I have arachnophobia. Don't... Don't judge me. Yeah, Soul Weaver doesn't really get played. Soul Weaver is one of those characters where it's like, she's not bad, but um, the, I don't know, the practice and learning required to actually play her well is just so not worth it when you could pick up other hunters that require like half as much and get better results. Like, that's kind of just... That's, that's kind of where a lot of characters are. Like, that's kind of where Forward is right now. That's where Soul Weaver definitely is. Just not worth. Yeah. Dang, 18 pulls? That's pretty good. Eh, that is very good for an A tier. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, there we go. We got a match. I don't have to be creative with my commentary. I can just talk about matches. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hunter faction. I don't know. I I'm planning to talk about this later when we discuss the Black Phoenix video a little bit, but... Hunters are in an interesting place. The hunter meta is just... I don't know. It's like, unplayable for some characters. They keep power creeping. The problem with hunter meta is it's just... There's so much power creep. Like, Opera Singer and now Ivy, right? Like, the power creep for hunter faction is just really crazy. So, yeah. unfortunately just how it is yeah. all right yeah I feel like the better spawn the cookies would be to go where the hunter spawned because that way you could that way you don't get hit by cipher lock and then like you could either rotate up or down which are both good kiting areas depending on what hunter it is or where the hunter spawns i don't know who's in charge of hunter balance i think like they're trying they're really trying to um make like, older hunters a little bit more viable with, like, the new gate trait thing that allows for, like, some map pressure, because map pressure is just a really... Map pressure is, like, the main important thing for hunters right now. So, they're they're trying to add that... Oh, he went for prisoner? Okay. I don't know. The problem is, like, once power creep starts... It's really hard to make it go away. And if I'm being 100% honest right now, chat, that's unfortunate. Uh, personally, I would love if hunters just continue, like, if, if they made all hunters on the same level as Opera Singer... And then they gave survivors voice chat in ranked. Because the issue with giving survivors ranked voice chat... Well, number one is the toxicity. That's, like, not going away, to be fair. But number two issue... To, oh my god, of course my camera was rotated at the one angle. Where I didn't see when he was using the flames. Of course. Of course it would be like that. Okay, yeah, I'm just leaving. You know what? I can't even do anything. I'm just leaving. Like, no one respects the fact that he just cheered on my cypher. Damn game. Ah. Yeah. 
Yeah, toxicity is a main issue, and I mean, I don't think they're ever solving that. In a perfect world for me, that would be how the game is solved, is that survivors are now allowed to have voice chat, which allows us to actually communicate better, and that fixes a big issue with randoms and stuff, and hunters are, like, incredibly strong. To me, in a perfect world, that's the fix. However, I don't think that's realistic. Oh, he has peepers? Man, Chad, you, you know how I feel about peepers on Axe Boy. Right, we all, we all know how I feel about this, <laughs> this trade. I really wish I wasn't having to kite fucking half health perfumer. Ooh, that was a good fireball. That's why I wish I wasn't having to kite half health perfumer. <laughs> yeah, prisoner just ate a really bad kite. Mm. It's hard to recover from that, especially when I got fireballed off the cipher. Yeah. What's up, coffee? What's up, Mars? How's it going? How are you guys doing? Hope you're all doing well. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Saturday um, day. Saturday morning for me. Probably not that for other people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he has the stupid thing where it makes it super obnoxious and it's like the... The, the super... I, I hate I hate Axe Boy's full presence. I tried to bamboozle him. I really hate Axe Boy's full presence. It's so, like, I don't know, uninvolved. I've talked about this on a multitude of occasions, but it it is so uninvolved and annoying. Oh, that was after half? I didn't realize. Rats. Dang, that's unfortunate. I mean, we might have been able to get a draw if that had happened a little bit earlier. I should have used my Euphoria over the window. Would have been a better, uh... Would have been a better play. I did okay with kiting the Axe Boy. I think my mistake was that I... Like, went out of his corruption area too many times. Like, I, I transitioned in and out of it too much. And it ended up just giving him too many avenues to hit me with fireballs. I think that, I think that was the main issue. Yeah. I gotta start, uh, I gotta start doing this. I gotta start, um, dissecting my, my gameplays better. I have become complacent chat. I need to I need to focus on my mistakes more than the mistakes of other people. I, I've noticed I notice I do this more as well, and this is like an interesting observation. I notice I do this a lot more when I'm trying to get like when I'm playing more competitively, like trying to get higher tiers, which I am right now, I'm trying to trying to be uh, get to Alley Corn uh, and hopefully tier seven. This season, I'm, I'm really gunning for it. And I notice I do this a lot more when I'm, when I have like a goal in mind. Is I become a lot more toxic and focus much more on other people's mistakes rather than my own. Which really definitely does go against a lot of the things that I say. Uh, when it comes to improving at the game, which is like, if you just get better every time. You're just going to be able to eventually carry. The problem with that, in all fairness, is that the game is so team-based these days that kind of solo carrying is really hard. Like, you have a 1 in 4 chance that the hunter goes for you and stuff like that. Man, 6 point loss for that? That's kind of mean. Yeah, I think I have to go for one of those moments where I just need to, like, not look at the points and just focus on getting better. I mean, that should be what we do all the time, but being being human is hard. 
but yeah. Anyways, what what time is it? It's half an hour in. Anyway, I guess I guess I might as well address this now since I've already talked a fair amount about it. Well, actually, maybe I'll wait a little bit longer. What I've been trying to do recently is put up like snippets or what I want to do anyway. Not have I haven't really done much of it yet. I put up like one, but like put up snippets from stream on like the second channel. I just post random shit on the second channel, to be fair. Man, I feel like the amount of puppeteers is kind of crazy. I feel like I've gotten a lot of puppeteers. Recently. Right? Like, I would prefer to not play with this many puppeteers. I don't like this character. I don't think it's a great pick. Yeah. What? I don't main anybody. I main like the entire character roster, bro. <laughs> like, I literally main the entire character <laughs> list. Pretty much, with like a couple exceptions. Like, I don't, I don't focus on any specific characters. How's it going, Aggie? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How are you doing today? There. I, I, wait, I, I want to draw this out, alright? I'm going to draw out something after this game. But I, saw, I can't remember who did it. It was, a, it, was, it was a pro team. I saw this in Call of the Abyss, and I thought it was a really cool idea. Oh, wow. Wait, why is my... Chat, is my is my microphone? Hold on, let me let me turn this down to like a reasonable volume. Was my did my microphone just get like obscenely loud? How how long was it like that for? Okay, thank God she missed the butterfly. That could have been a disaster. She's actually going for me. I kind of tried to predict that and failed. Problem is I can't go into boat because prisoners in the boat. So, I would like to hook there, but I can't. Okay, I, I at least predicted that butterfly. Nice, okay. Things I'm not- I'm not throwing. I'm at least kiting a little bit. Which is... Pretty decent for me. Alright. I'm not usually the greatest at video games. We all know this. Oh, bro. The heart is go- Oh, she- she just teleported. Okay. Oh, and the- the- the-, the, the, the I almost called psychologist photographer. Uh, the psychologist whistle heel. Let's go. What's up, Javid? How's it going? How's your day been? Hope it's been going well. Yeah, I don't really love Puppeteer either, Mars, but- you know, people pick him, it's... It is what it is, it happens. Eh. It's too low now? Oh no, no, is it too low? Okay, no, like, I usually like to keep it like this because when it's... When it's super toned up like that... It, um, like, the... the I feel like the microphone peaks a lot. And it's, like, kind of unpleasant to listen to. Went to the zoo? Nice. It's been, a, I, it's been a really long time since I've gone to a zoo, actually. I don't, I don't think I've gone in... Ooh. It, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been a while. I don't know why patient isn't... Or prisoner isn't rescuing. Like, we have both ciphers on the move. I feel like prisoner should be going right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, there definitely is a lot of new survivors, Raimi. There's... They're coming out with new characters at a really fast rate. And I don't know if I like it. I don't really know if I, if I like how quickly that uh, Joker Studios is adding more survivors to the game. Ooh! Ooh! Prisoner doing good stuff. Oh, teleport. Oh. Well then. Hey. I'm proud of my early game kite this game, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I actually did good, which is not something I can always say about Geisha. <laughs> and we're all here. Hey, it's a party. Leaving cookies behind, unfortunately, but... Hey, a win is a win. Um, I, for, for a fear of bad things, I am, in fact, always on Phone Mars. Alright, always, always playing on the mobile version. But, yeah. Anyway, hold on, hold on. I'm, we're, we're doing art class for a second, chat. Oh, wait, I need to... I need to open VS Code. Hold on. Hold on. I promise our I promise our class is coming. Our class is there. Okay, there we go. Actually, no. Wait, we don't go yet. Hold on. We're 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 going. It, it's beginning. Okay, there we go. Let me let me put this on the screen now. Uh, here we go. Boom. Okay. So. Okay, we're, do we're, we're doing art class real quick here. Because I want to I wanna showcase some, like, cool spawn ideas that I saw in COA. So, what the survivors did is they spawned like this. Which, I really like this idea of the spawn. And so, each character, right... So, this was a barmaid, which was obviously supposed to be psychologist. And then this was patient. And then they had two other survivors over here. Like, they had... I can't remember who they had over here. But I really like this idea, because you maximize the, like, attraction, or whatever it's called. Like, the one where they can run to each other here. If the hunter spawns in this, like, quadrant of the map, like, psychologist heal excels at the remote healing right uh the, like they have a rescuer probably here and then like someone safe on the boat like i really loved this idea uh they they put barmaid here and it just did not work because they like this comp is so um so focused around the psychologist that it just didn't work with the barmaid um but i thought it was a really cool idea i just wanted to share that also if you want to do cool screen art class yourself, link in description for my website where you can do that. Granted, not quite as good, but, you know. You know, the keyboard noises are just, uh, they're, they're just in the background. Don't, don't worry about the keyboard noises. That, that means nothing. Oh, 16 points for that? Okay, I'll take. I I will take it. Oh, I forgot to shamelessly promote. I was doing art class. Shoot. Yeah. What's up, Candy? How's it going? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Razel. I I am in fact Bob Ross. All right, in disguise. I actually have like when I when I let my hair kind of go, it actually does kind of go into like a Bob Ross style afro. Like I I learned this very much later because i used to have like this style in like really when i was really young like in kindergarten um grade one uh, i learned this later like people made jokes about me being bob ross which i thought was quite funny but yeah yeah that's that's for sure javid like the pc controls are definitely a lot worse than mobile <laughs> I I am in fact just mechanical rabbit Bob Ross in disguise.
Yeah, I really thought the the spawn selection idea was cool, Aegi. I, I really liked it. They swapped out Psychologist for Barmaid, which made it not work, but... I thought it was interesting. One of my favorite parts about watching uh, Call of the Abyss this year, actually, has been... Um, has been that. Just, like, learning at the spawn selections and stuff. It's been really cool. I've been able to apply it, and it's, like... It, it's made so much sense. It's really good. <laughs> no mistakes, just happy accents. I actually have said that on multiple occasions. That, that should become like my catchphrase. Well, my stolen catchphrase. I should probably shouldn't do that actually. Ah, uh, <laughs> no cookies, not the hot Cheetos. Uh. I got the cooler for the phone so it doesn't heat up. That's fair. I, I noticed that actually you know sometimes I, I think it's with older devices that it happens more but I do notice that a lot with like my iPad that it like it heats up and it it's like actually hurts to touch like I have to stop doing stuff on it or like put it down because it like is actually painful to touch it Yeah. Jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. Oh my gosh, I didn't know there was this many flavors of Cheetos. That being said, I still need to go out and buy hot Cheetos. Actually, I I saw them. I was in a rush and I forgot to go back and get them. Okay, I I need to like make a special trip over and get hot Cheetos to fulfill promises. Cupcake <laughs> Bro, I will actually cry if there's such a thing as Cupcake Cheetos. That'd be so weird. Yeah, Hot hot Cheetos is just like... I don't know, Hot, hot Cheetos is just a, a thing we, we talked about. We love Hot Cheetos. Well, I don't love them, but, you know. <laughs> Try them on stream. Maybe I can try them on stream. I don't think the crunching would be great on the microphone, though. It's a nad. That's scary. Yeah, it's been so long since I've had hot cheetos. Like, I remember eating them. I, I never liked them. The last time I had, like, cheesies, not Cheetos, but, like, the... I don't know, the, the smaller, like, other ones. It wasn't that long ago, and, like, it actually made me ill. Like, I got ill the last time I had cheesies. So, like, I'm a little bit scared to try Cheetos again. <laughs> there's... Wait. Wait, there's everything bagel-flavored ramen? Why? Why, though? You will hot cupcake. Flaming hot cupcakes. Alright, flaming hot cupcakes I don't have a problem with. <laughs> Alright, you know, some of us are, you know, like, spice junkies and just put, like, copious amounts of, like, hot sauce and jalapeno peppers on everything. Alright, flaming hot cupcakes, I can, I can get on board with these. <laughs> Yeah, no, no a ASMR channel moment. No, no, no. no, I couldn't do that. Is Walmart an American store? I thought they had Walmart in like other places also. I thought Walmart was like a global phenomena. Perhaps not. Um, this is actually really bad and I should have planned better. I'm going, I'm going in the, going in to here. 
Because the gravekeeper went to rescue. Oh, the farm, though. The farm is not great. That, that is so real, Raimi. That is so real. But I think I've started to become too healthy, chat. Because, like I mentioned, the last time I had cheesies, like, I actually got ill from, from them. And, like, I cannot stomach eating, like, a copious amount of junk food anymore. Like, I, I'm becoming too healthy. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Like, it's... I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing. Oh, wait. Snap. I thought that was Prospector. I can't make it in time. Sorry, cookies. I was not paying attention. A proud spice junk, yes, I saw my. All right, I will. I will put unnecessary amounts of hot things on everything. Uh, I'm not gonna pop this cipher yet. I don't think, because gravekeeper is half health decoding. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this primed. <laughs> I'm becoming healthy, just old. Uh, you know, I, c I can relate with that as well. Alright, like... I was I, w I was working yesterday. One of my co-workers, you know, like... Three of us were talking. One of our co-workers says like this, I don't know, Gen Alpha... Something or other. A and me and my other co-worker were like... Huh? <laughs> can, can repeat... What does this mean? I felt so old in that moment because the other person was like 40 years old. Uh, anyway. What excitement? Oh no. There's no way you you predicted this. Somehow it actually kind of didn't fail completely. I can't believe she pred- Like, man, dude, I am, like, on Terror Shock Mountain today. Oh, shit. Uh, what do I do, chat? No! She didn't... No! Oh. I took too much water. I accumulated too much water. Damn it! I messed up. I've messed up two out of three games today, alright? I'm washed up, chat. Yeah, that's that's that is exactly true, Raimi. Though, like, you, that's that's exactly how you know you're old. <laughs> you start not understanding when young people speak. Uh, the fact that I just used the word young people—I'm 19. God, how is this happening? Anyway, celebrity. That's true. Although, to be fair, for me, like, I I, I don't know anything about celebrities at the best of times. Gravekeeper's not happy. I don't blame him. Yeah, like, people will always be like, Oh, have you seen the new movie coming out? You know, starring, you know, X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, I haven't heard of any of these people. And they're like, what? They're, like, super famous. Alright, I only recently learned who, um... What, what was his name? Uh, well, I, I forget. I forget. See, this is how much I know. But there was, like, a really popular celebrity, and someone was talking about it, like, I asked who it was, and they were just, they were just flabbergasted. They were just absolutely flabbergasted. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't keep up with that, right? I, like, 
I don't even watch. Okay, this, to be fair, I don't watch movies. I don't listen to music unless they're like, I don't know, small productions. All right, like my my taste in music chat is like I, I've said this multiple times, but like, in Geometry Dash OST, like I know who Waterflame is. All right, I know Dim Rain Forty Seven. All right, I I know the I know that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can invite uh, Rat Queen if you want. I don't know if I have them friended. Maybe I do. Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah, I only know... I Actually, I only know Tom Cruise. Literally because of, like, the Scientology thing. Like, that's that's the reason I know who Tom Cruise is. Like otherwise, I've actually I know I know he's like the Mission Impossible guy, but like, I also have never watched a Mission Impossible movie in my entire life, which I know is pretty crazy. But um, you know, what's up, Momo? How's it going? You're the Nad. GGs. Played well. Played well. Exploit. You exploited my mistakes really well. I made a lot of oopsies daisies in that match. <laughs> you did good. Deserve those points. Yeah. People always say it's crazy. I've never seen Mission Impossible, but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't care to see it. It's not. It's, I'm not interested. <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm almost never interested in any kind of media ever. I watch YouTube. That's it. I'm busy, like, doing other stuff. I don't know. Short story long. I feel like... I feel old. <laughs> feel so, so old. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I've talked about this on stream. But, like, the last, like, I had to, can, I have a new pet peeve, right? People that talk on the phone while, like, out in public, all right? Or, like, not in a secluded place, but, like, just generally, like, having a full conversation. Like, well, just, well, doing, like, their shopping or whatever. It is so annoying. And then, like, they'll turn to me and ask me a question and, like, expect me to know that they're talking to me now and not the person on the phone. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I, this happened twice yesterday. People were just carrying on conversations on their cellular devices. Alright? And I'm just, you know, casually doing whatever. And they're like, you know, and they like ask something to me. And like, how am I supposed to know? What, like, you didn't... Ugh, ugh, I'm so annoying. I'm so mad. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I should have on my next birthday. I can't officially 20 years old next year. Uh, that is what I'll have. A, a cane for my bad back. Yeah. I don't know. I get annoyed by lots of things now. You know, I've, I've, be, I've become I'm becoming old and cranky chat. I'm so cynical about everything. Right, I don't like people. I get mad when I go in public. See people on their phones, how dare they? To be fair, I actually make an effort to like not be on my phone when I'm like out and about places. You know, some sometimes it has to be the case, but like I don't know, I feel like it's just tacky, you know what I mean? <laughs> Start waving. That's that's exactly me. Get off my lawn, you you crazy kids. All right. To be fair, they're actually there's like a a new boarding house, um, down the street to where I live, and they are on our lawn sometimes. And it would be nice if they were not doing that. <sighs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't know why I feel so old. But like, 
I don't, I don't know why everyone considers me old. Literally, every time I talk to people, all right, and all my coworkers know I'm 19 now. But, like, literally, because I, I was talking to someone. I, I talked to so many people. They Why does everyone think I'm, like, 20 to 30 years old? Okay, I'm not even 20 yet. I'm not even... Uh. <laughs> Like, it's not even a, it's not even like an online thing. At first, I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's, it's just like an online thing because like I have like a, a bit of a deeper voice. Sure. All right. That's fine. You know, and then I got out of school and started, you know, going to work and stuff. And everyone thinks I'm like old. Everyone thinks I'm like in my twenties. I'm like, no. <laughs> All right. Stop. Cease. This is false information. This is fake news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, soul 120. That's how it feels sometimes. Oh dear, we have a mind's eye. Yeah, I, I'm only 19, Javid. Only 19. I'm I, I'm 19, which I, in internet, to be fair, in internet years, 19 might as well be 120. Alright, like, let, let's just say it how it is. Your neighbor's cat always goes in the front yard. Oh my god. We used to have issues with that. We don't have issues with that anymore. I don't know why Mind's Eye didn't take the, the ship. I guess I'll take the ship. No one else is going there. Yeah. Bro, yeah, I, I don't even know why people think I'm so old, though. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't think I look old. But, like, wh like when my birthday was happening, I, I, like, would casually mention it in conversation. And people are like, oh, how old are you turning? I'm like, oh, 19. And they're, they're just like, you know, like, they took knockback damage from the statement. You know, like, literally flailing back, like, oh, my God, no way. It's just like it's the most... You know, like, unbelievable thing in the world. And I'm like, bro, why? Why, though? <laughs> Alright, is it because, like, I'm not, like, chronically on my phone and vaping every two seconds? Like, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm clean shaven, Raimi. Alright, when I, I tried to grow a beard at one point, it was, it was so bad. It was so bad, it was so bad. Alright, Yo7 beard is, like, actually the worst thing you'll ever see. Like, I- like, I can't even grow one properly. I'd send a picture if I wasn't worried about leaking my face to the internet. Yeah. Anyway, I, enough about this. Mind's Eye's getting chased. It's not good news. Mind's Eye's just- Mind's Eye's just Mind's Eye. Not not a good character to uh, to pick out th these days. It's actually funny. I was watching the Call of the Abyss uh, live stream yesterday. Uh, Eli had some had some fun things to say about my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which w which was very very entertaining. Uh, that depends, Candy. Do you do you value your your mental sanity? Right? Like do do you do you value uh, like not going crazy? Because if if not then 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 ranking is uh yeah, ranking is fine. Yeah. Good rescue from cookies, especially Dream Witch Basement. Dream Witch Basement's pretty scary. Uh, but yeah. What, what was I talking about? I don't remember. I do remember, I think I forgot to put the stream in the Identity 5 category now that I'm thinking about it, so I should do that. Yeah, and talking about Call of the Abyss, I might, like, watch some more matches after the rank session today. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, the, the Joker is too sane to play IDV. I, I can just imagine, like, the Joker playing IDV and just, like, molding in anger. 
Like, he would main smiley face, obviously. And just be, like, molding in anger. Super angry about it. Yeah. Alright, well, here I go. To go rescue. Like a good teammate. Oh, this is mine's eye. I should have perfumed that. Why do I have Tide Turner? Oh, wait, no, I don't. I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> I was like, why did I bring Tide Turner on Perfumer? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do that. That's so real, Candy. That is so real. Well, maybe we can... Maybe we can heal up the Mind's Eye. Oh, no, no, no. I really wish they went under the pallet. I should have let them crawl under the pallet. Maybe I should have taken the hit. I don't know. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. This is bad. This is very bad. There, bad things are happening. Shit. I don't know why I used that perfume. I don't know why I stood there, dude. No, oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm angry about it. Actually, actually, just, I'm, 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 I don't even know, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Alright, we'll never speak of that ever again. Yeah, high tier hunter is really tough. It's really, I don't know, like I said, oh my god. Playing for the farm, I guess. Alright, well, we know how to... We know how to counter it next time. Next rescue, we know what to do. Oh, this is bad, actually. Okay, maybe it's not that bad for me. I'm not leeched, which is some silver lining, I guess. Oh my god, I thought this pallet was used for a second. I was about to cry. I don't know where the ciphers are, though. This is the issue. Oh, her main body's here? You're kidding. Just patroller, you're at extra kill. I should have. Can you perfume the patroller, actually? Ah, I tried. I tried to play it. I didn't. I didn't. I guess she probably patrolled with the main body. Is what happened. That must have been what it was. Ah. Anger. Anger builds. Yeah, Hunter's really tough. The thing for Hunter is... I don't know. Hunter really thrives on survivors making issues or making mistakes. Basically, high-tiered survivors are more likely to be both duoed and they're both playing the game similarly. Which is why high tier is very difficult, in my opinion. I think that's a big reason why high tier is hard. The the care the players are very much on the same like on the same page with a lot of stuff, which is not the case in lower tiers. Survivors make a lot of mistakes based on their different methods for playing the game. I think that's, like, one of the biggest differences. Yeah, this match is just over. Too much Cypher pressure is too good. Mm. Yeah, it's just over.
Can't be helped. Oh, they vaulted that? It's interesting. I mean, unless journalists can do a crazy kite, which I mean, I think they still have some illusions, so. But yeah, the pincer situation is just becoming, yeah. It's just over. It's just over. I don't know why. See, this is the thing about Mind's Eye. It's, she, if she gets caught, it's so hard to do anything about it. Yeah, I couldn't find any of the ciphers. I didn't know which ones were left. I actually disagree with that, Javid. I don't think... I think having to rely on teammate support is honestly not in high tiers, but in lower tiers. And this is the discrepancy, right? In lower tiers, having the, the game being more team-based hinders survivors more than helps them. But in high tiers, it helps more than hinders. Which is why I say the game is very often balanced off of pro play because... Because of that reason. Yeah, I'd kind of like to get into the next match. Could be nice. There we go. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, I, I do think the amount of balancing around pro play from the developers is hurting the game a little bit. Anyway, and since I, I, I've got really sidetracked, but I did want to go over this, seeing as we're kind of on a somewhat similar subject now. Um, is that, so Black Phoenix, now I'm sure we all know who Black Phoenix is, right? I don't need to explain this. Um... So, they, they've gone ahead and posted a, a new video. Um, basically, you know, talking about Survivor, or just the game not being that fun anymore. I'm not going to, like, play the whole video. I do have points about it, to Like, I, I wrote down, like, the base points, and I do want to talk about them, because I think it's important to talk about stuff like this. And since we're on the same subject, we might as well uh, do it anyway. So, I mean, like, the first item is basically the base knowledge for playing is too high. You know? Uh, which, I don't know if I agree with this. It's just a natural progression of the game. You know, when you log in, and this is a true thing, when you do go in for the first time and you start playing uh, matches in low tiers, you're expected to know a lot of things, like how to prime a cipher... You know, like, to, to not decode with multiple people in the same cipher. You know, lots of things like that. You know, things we all think of basic skills. But new players aren't going to know that. And there's also a lack of educational material out there for new players to learn things like this. But that, that is a fair criticism. Although, it's impossible to do anything about that. You know, and I'll compare it to League of Legends. Um, just because League of Legends is a game that's been out for a long time. Like, you need to, like, watch guides when you first start League of Legends. Or you're just, you know, people are going to yell at you, people are going to scream at you. It's a symptom of the game's longevity. And there's not really anything you can do about this. Like, you can't make... The only way to fix something like this is a large influx of new players at one time. Because then everyone in low tiers has no idea what they're doing again. And they'll begin that natural learning process. You know, but this is just... This is how games go over time. You know, things that allow you to climb in tiers. Um, you know, a select few people figure it out and they climb in tiers. They become the high tiers. Then it becomes mainstream knowledge. More people get it. More people climb in tiers. Until all of a sudden it's just a standard in low tier again. 
Like, this is just this is just the natural progression of things. It takes a long time for that to happen, but it is just the natural progression of how things go, and all games go this way. Like, to complain about this is just, I think, unreasonable. So, you know, there's that. Anyway. Move on to the second thing that he talked about, which is power creep. Uh, which, I mean, I already touched upon this in the stream, but power creep, specifically, well, he talks about both kinds, so we'll talk about hunter first. Hunter power creep exists. Like, you have a lot of, you know, if, if we look at the characters, right, it's, it's pretty obvious that, like, I do this thing. You know, you look at the first two pages of characters, and it's like, how many of these are viable? Not many. The ones that are draw hunters. You know, and the new hunters that come out, right? Like Opera Singer, um, Shadow, and stuff. Like, just, they're, they're incredibly strong. They're so strong. And, you know, without sweeping changes going into the gameplay of other hunters, the other hunters are just never catching up to that. You know, so it... number The one thing it does is it makes hunter gameplay kind of stale. Like, it makes hunter not that fun to play because there's... A limited amount of characters you can play that are com like super competitively viable and it makes a small hunter pool one thing which makes hunter stale and not fun and the other thing that it does is it well it, it also encourages power creep for survivors as well oh I don't like this this one these spawns at all that's the thing so it encourages power creep for survivors and it also forces survivors to because of the lack of, I don't know, kite ability of a lot of these hunters, it forces uh, survivors to be much more team oriented. It forces survivors to rely on teammates a lot more, which leads into a lot of toxicity. Because if your teammates aren't doing what you think they should be doing, it's very frustrating. You know, it's super annoying and it's easy to blame your teammates. So it leads into that, and it also leads into a lot more losses and frustration on the survivor side. Yeah. So, th so that's the second point. We'll talk about... I don't know, we'll talk about the other three points maybe in the next matching queue. But I feel like it's important to talk about this stuff. Like, we need to... You know, we need to recognize these things. I don't think the hunter's gonna go for me. I'm just gonna go for the cypher. I'm probably just going to beeline for Composer if I'd had to guess. I don't know why Composer spawned mid instead of anywhere else that's a safer spawn. But here we are. And this is why I think the plus spawn is so strong. If you have like two weak characters, then depending on where the hunter spawns, the one that's getting kited can rotate into the strong area of the map. Yeah. But yeah, I, I agree, Raimi. Some, like, some mechanics just aren't mastered. And, you know, we all started there. But it's become baseline now. Which I think is the underlying issue. But yeah. A lot of games, I agree with Coffee as well. A lot of games are com balanced too much for competitive play. Like, just too much. Which, it makes sense to balance a little bit for competitive play. Like, I understand why it is like that. Because it's the it's the face of the game, right? You know, like, you look up Identity 5, you're finding Call of the Abyss stuff, right? You know, competitive play is the face. It's like the, the pinnacle, the excitement. You know, you always want it to be fresh, new, and interesting. I think the Hunter's cutting me off, actually. Yeah, the Hunter's cutting me off. So, what really should happen in this situation is um, someone else should be going for the rescue, which someone else is actually going now, which is good. Um, but if they had actually gone when I pinged that, see, it could have been, it could have been free. But, you know, the hunter got away with something that they shouldn't have got away with, and it's over now. That's where it's frustrating to have to rely on teammates, right? Because not everyone thinks the same way, and then 
that happens. Yeah, yeah IDV is also bad for ping reasons. Uh, the, and, the, you know, the underlying issue of the ping reasons is there's not enough player base to split up into the amount of servers that we need. Like, ideally, we would not just have, like, NAEU for, like, the entirety of, like, North America, South America, and Europe. Which is, you know, the reality of who plays on this server. Like, we need a server specifically for each of those regions. And that's why the ping is so high, but, you know... We don't have a big enough player base for that. That's the issue. I see this a lot. Like, the issue is not that because, you know, the company is greedy or whatever. The issue is, like, literally, there's not enough players. It does need to be fixing. I don't know how you would fix it other than advertising, which maybe that's the budget issue. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think the game is lost. The hunter, like, Disciple's a tie character, but she fulfilled the win condition where she, like, went off the chair and it wasn't quick enough for... Like, we didn't punish it. The punish was too late. And it's over now. Yeah, it is what it is. Put my coffin here. Bro, the bleed out. The bleed out, though. This is so cringe. Just bleed out like this. Like, come on. Finish the game. It's not that deep. What's up, Clement? How's it going? Yeah. This is just... So, I don't know, pathetic. To, like bleed like this in my opinion so shallow like, oh no oh no we gave the survivors a chance to play the game such a such a big deal yeah i really i really wish bleeding like this was like demonized to be honest I know, it, like, I know it doesn't really make a lot of sense to be, may, maybe it's just me. I get really frustrated when hunters do it, though. I, I wish this was, like, a thing that you, like, if you did this, you know, like, you just get, like, toxic toxicity thrown right back at you. Because, in my opinion, it's just, if you're not in high tiers, then you shouldn't bleed out like that. It's just fucking pathetic. But, that's my opinion. It's not like it's illegal. I wish it was. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is. We need a better way to communicate. Like, I don't know. And it, it's hard, because what else can you do apart from pings? And then you can't add voice chat, right? Voice chat just isn't really an option to add. How do you allow survivors better communication without that? That's the problem. It's fine, cookies. You should have just gone for the rescue, like, earlier. I think that was, that was what should have happened. I should have pinged that the hunter was coming for me earlier. I knew she was coming to cut me off. It's also my mistake. 
But anyway, we're going to we're going to go back to art class real quick. <laughs> going to have another art class for a second. I'm, I'm going to explain something about spawns because I think it's important. So yeah, when we spawn, especially on arms factory, right? I think one of the best spawns that you can do is uh, spawning something like this or like spawning like that just just one of these iterations of a plus spawn because you have your your strong character goes here and then you have a weak character that goes here or here and the reason you go here or here uh, is because this allows you to rotate Depending on where the hunter spawns, this allows you to rotate into two different strong parts of the map. So then if you have two different weak characters as well, instead of instead of taking this area, and then this spawn is like here, and then you would probably spawn like that. And then if the hunter spawns like uh, here, for example, all right, they just... They can chase that, or if they have mobility, they can go all the way down here. This cipher is locked off. It's just a disaster. So I really think, especially, like, you need a weak character to spawn, like, in one of the in one of these two places to allow for the rotation. Like, I'm I'm generally I, I've been speaking against this a lot recently. I don't like corner spawns because corner spawns don't allow for better rotation rotation is king in the early game i think it's really important i wish this was like a more talked about thing but yeah yeah a chat like league would a chat like league's chat only works because league is a very long paced game you have time to die and, like, you know, talk about stuff and whatever. League also has a very complicated ping system. And League also has the advantage of computer over mobile. And mobile especially, because when you want to type something, it, like, covers half the screen and stuff like that, you know? Like, the only real answer for, like, best communication is voice chat. But, like, that's just a bad idea. I would love it, but the amount of toxicity that would come from voice chat, I think is too much. Also, if it was like an opt-in thing, uh, it would just be bad. Because, like, it would just be, people would be kind of ostracized and shamed for not having it on. Which is not what you want. Yeah. Okay, Composer just spawning mid. Here we go. What's up, Ray Ray? How's it going? <laughs> yeah. When you're playing with friends, though, a lot of the time... I don't know. Maybe you have toxic friends like I did, but... A lot of the time, it's like... You know, you give each other banter, and you know it's not, like, serious. Or it's a lot easier to take, like, toxicity from a friend than a stranger as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, I I do like the the spawn selection just because I think it normalizes things. It's more of like a pro play change, but it's nice to just be able to choose where you spawn and not have to like deal with the random generation. Like, that's the... Like, spawning kind of like the way you do in low tier just kind of sucks. Where is this hunter? I don't know why I had such a strong heartbeat there.
I disagree, Javid. I really hate the mechanics where hunters are able to slow down the game. I'd rather hunters be strong in other areas and be able to win through other means. I think slowing down the game, especially because rank is time-gated, is just a bad thing. Because you can't get as many rank games in in a session. Uh, it makes the game take a lot longer. It's just, I don't know, it drains the fun out of it, at least for me. I know that's kind of like a... I know that's kind of like an unpopular opinion, but I don't, I don't, I don't like that, like, slowing down Cypher's mechanic. Like it or not, Cypher Rush is just part of the game. Modern hunters are built around it. The only problem with Cypher Rush is it, um, makes older hunters obsolete. Yeah, in-game voice would just get too toxic, which is unfortunate, but it is how it is. It's a shame. Like I said, in a perfect world, my fix for the game's meta right now would be to just amp up all the hunters, make them on the same level as Opera Singer or um, Shadow, and allow for in-game voice chat, which people could then use and not be toxic with. Like, that would be a perfect world. And I, like, I will stand by, I think that would fix a lot of things. Like, I think that would fix a lot of things. But the problem is that relies on people, and NAU is just known for being toxic. Unfortunately. It's just how it is. I feel like cookies should have come to my cipher. Aw, oh, dang. She managed to get me. I'm trying to hit her with the, the red bomb. If I can catch up. Fuck. Why would you run to a corner? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's a bloody queen. Running to a corner there doesn't make sense, because you, you pinch yourself. You can, you need space to try to kite the mirror without, uh, without any help. Uh, hopefully she targets me. So I can use my bombs to evade her mirror. Oh, she was closer. Oh, she wasn't as close as I thought she was, actually. She was nowhere near where I thought she was. I messed up because of that. I should trust in my judgment. I looked at the heartbeat, and I thought she was um, so much closer. But she was, in fact, where I thought she would be. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, League is unfun a lot of the time for its own reasons. Also, I recommend that nobody plays League due to the, um, the anti-cheat being, um, or the new anti-cheat being, like, prototyped, I guess, being extremely bad, alright? Please do not install that on your, like, on your system. Like, I'm actually begging you. If you value, like, your cybersecurity at all. Like that, to me, is a really big issue. Like, I, I quit for that reason. I, I would play the game on a virtual machine if I could, but it fights against VMs, so... Fuck Riot. They can, like, like they, they can lose... I, like, I've spent money, alright? They, they can lose a paying customer. I'm, I don't care. You know, they, uh, that's just copium. They don't care. You know, it's a massive million dollar corporation, whatever. And not enough people care about their online privacy. Like, I made a video about this. I made a video about Vanguard. And, um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the top comments were people like, Oh, blah, 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 your toaster collects your data, you know, who cares? 
Which is sad to me. All right, online privacy is important. People don't treat it as such, unfortunately, you know. So, companies like Riot will continue to get away with implementing overreaching anti-cheats that have more permissions in your computer than you do as the user. Yeah. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Raimi. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Chat, you're probably gone by now, but uh, it's really good to see you again. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, I mean, Bloody Queen is a Thai hunter. She's called a Thai hunter for a reason. I, I, I feel like... I feel like the game goes at the pace it goes for a reason. And I do like the pace that the game goes. Like, I like the snappy, fast matches. I don't like hunters that can just slow it down or completely halt Cypher progress. Especially Clerk. Clerk's gimmick is stupid. Like she can block off ciphers for a long time. Photographer make it take forever. For me, it's not, like this is a this is a subjective thing. All right, like I'm not saying my opinion is the fact here, but I personally am not a fan of it. I don't like it. I would like to see less of it in the game. I don't want an A badge for Bloody Queen. I'm not good at Bloody Queen. I'm not good at Hunter in general, but not Bloody Queen either. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Like I was saying, in game, uh, or I don't know. Over people don't care enough about cybersecurity. All right, maybe, maybe it's just me because I'm like a, I don't know, a computer guy that I'm just like super. I'm also super paranoid about it, but I really don't like. I don't like it when people, especially this, alright, like, I recommend to anyone that's playing, like, a competitive game, look up if it has a kernel-level anti-cheat or not. Because I'm, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, chat, alright, one of these days, uh, th there's gonna be a mass, there already has been, actually, through Genshin Impact, alright, but there is gonna be, like, a very massive, like, super bad security thing at some time in the future you know caused by someone breaching one of these anti-cheat kernels like i'm calling it now it's going to happen it's just a matter of time i think that's a pretty black and white way of looking at the game javid there's a lot of stuff that the hunters do. This is why map pressure is a big thing. But a big thing hunters can do. And it, like, and this is just, like, if you're struggling with getting, like, more than ties consistently, try to chair on a cypher. Like, this is, this is a lot of stuff that hunters can do to prevent cypher progress from happening without having stupid gimmicks around it. You could chair on a cypher. You could harass the ciphers. Um, like, well, um while you're having a chair like there's a lot of different things you can play like aggressive like teleport builds there's a lot of stuff you can do to what was this spawn by the way but there's a lot of stuff you can do to fight against cypher pressure that people don't really see But there's a there's there is a lot that you can do to fight against it. As a hunter, I mean, you know, if you want if you want to put it in like you know super layman's terms, right? Like super simple, you know, one versus four, like the survivors kite, and that's the end of the game. Survivors kite and rescue, and you know, it's like oh we we played this like thousands of times. You know, when you boil the game down to such simplicity. Um, oh, wow, that was in range. I think it's, um, I think it's a bad thing. 
But anyway. Oh, fucker. He walked on my bomb. Oh wait, he did not go on the on the mud spot. Oh, I love Toy Merchant. I love Toy Merchant so so much. Man. Oh yeah, League of Legends is like known for having like notoriously bad code. Like it is, it is literally a known thing. <laughs> it, it, like the game is like actually famous for how poorly coded it is. Which is fair, it's you know, it's built upon over many, many years, alright? Having to deal with such legacy code and shit like that is is horrible. Like, it's it's not like it's not un or it's like it's it's understandable why it's made so badly but it is like famous for having like the most atrocious code ever like it's written so poorly and i mean that that's the thing like at the end of the day when you boil it down why would i trust um a company whose game is famous for having terrible... Like, I even said this in the video where I talked about it. But it was like, they have recently had their, you know... Like, due to gross negligence, lost a bunch of source code for their game. Alright? Their client is notoriously terrible. And poorly coded. Alright? The, the game is spaghetti at the best of times. And, and we're trusting this, we're, we're trusting these people to have kernel level access to our machines. No thanks. Like, it makes no sense, but people just don't think of it like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, League of Legends is a fun game. But it has, in my opinion, some of the worst, um, like, horrible, ass, like, terrible, like, like, should be in a million lawsuit developers. <laughs> like, that's my opinion on League. Fun game, the, literally the worst developers you could possibly ever have. Their music is good, though, I agree with that. <laughs> Alright, they produce... Like some banger music, I'll I'll, gi I'll give them that. They collaborate with other artists, and that's why. But the music is good. <laughs> oh, why are we why are we transmitting progress here? Are you kidding? That's unlucky. But yeah, no, like, I, I, can't, I can't say much for the mobile version of League, because I think it has a completely di different development team, but... Whoever's leading development in, like, the PC version needs to be, like, actually... Uh, like, not investigated, but needs to not be in their role anymore. You know, ever. Does anyone know where Dungeon is? Did I, like, not see it at some point? Why was my heartbeat so, so large? Whatever, I'll take the bomb hit here. Oh! Oh, that was a good bomb. Well played, bro. Yeah. 
<laughs> Riot known for the company who makes occasionally good but janky games. Yeah, no, the games are good. Like, League of Legends is, like, an, an amazing game. Alright, like, it is, it is addicting, and it can be fun. It, the main thing is it's addicting. It, it's a great game because it's addicting, to, to, to be fair. A lot of the times when you play League, you're not even enjoying it. The game's just addicting to play. Like, like that's kind of the long and short of it with League. You know. And, and this is why I say they have the worst developers. Because they, they continuously add, like, anti-fun characters, like... All right, let, let's just let's just think of this for a moment. All right, there's a character in League that he clicks one button, right, and after like a short period of time, he does massive damage to the entire enemy team. Like globally, you have no way of blocking this unless you have like um like a thing that blocks all damage from you. All right, so he just does this to the entire enemy team, and there's no good way of blocking it. Alright, by clicking a button, he doesn't have to be in range, he doesn't have to see them, nothing. He just clicks a button and that happens. That is, that is like character design, where you have to sit there, alright, in a room, and literally think of the worst possible thing you could ever add to the game, and then put it in there. Like, I can't even express how astronomically bad that game design is. Yeah, like, if he's an old character that, you know, times have changed, fine, alright, I get that, but change him. Alright, and they refuse to change it. And especially, one of the other things I noticed with, um, with, um, League, is that a lot of the patch notes is delivered by, like, a guy called Freak. Most condescending asshole ever. Alright, he might be great behind the scenes, but he is a prick. Like, he comes off as a prick in, in the videos. And this is not who you want representing your company. But anyway. Uh, I'm probably not dressing up for Halloween at all, Cookies. Anyway, my my impassionated rant about <laughs> about how much I despise League of Legends is is in fact over. Like I said, it's, I, I, it gets me mad thinking about it because I I wish I wish people leading the game uh, were interested in making a good game. And I'll, I'll put it there. Uh, you know. Uh, I don't know. I just don't really... May maybe I will. Beats me. I don't, I don't really know why I would, though. Because, like, where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. Probably. Depends. Bro, exactly, coffee. Like, I wouldn't have an issue with Riot implementing the things in the way that they are if they allowed for emulation. Or not emulation, but if they allowed for virtual machines. Alright, if I could spin up, like, a Windows VM, like I have going on literally right now. Alright, like, if I could spin up a, a Windows VM, you know, and just play League, and that's all the, that's all the VMs used for, and, like, just... You know, use it as, as a league machine. I'm happy with that, alright? But the, because the game consistently fights against you doing that. It's just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. I mean, it's probably good for me that I don't play league anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why Priestess spawned there. That was a terrible spawn. Oh, great, it's a photographer. I have so much fun playing against this character. Oh, boy, I can't wait to spend 30 minutes in this match playing hide-and-seek. It's so fun. 
What a great character concept. Remove every single part of actual gameplay. Woohoo. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, Coffee. Uh, like, to me, right, an anti-cheat like that should just equal never playing game again. Like, that, like, that's really how it should be for me. That's how it is for me. I feel like that's how it should be for other people. Like, if you're, if you're gonna implement something that is, like, super invasive in there... Like, I don't care if you have the best of intentions, and you're not collecting data or whatever, although I'm sure it is. Alright, I do not give a fuck. All right, that can be breached and compromised. Like, this is exactly what happened with Genshin Impact, all right? Like, they had a driver. Someone used the driver to, like, escalate a malware attack. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, that is, like, in the next, like, ten years, there's gonna be a situation like that. Where one of these games with these super crazy overreaching anti-cheats is, like... The driver is going to be used by a bad actor, and, like, there's going to be, like, the biggest, like, botnet ever. <laughs> well, maybe not the biggest botnet ever, but, like, it's going to be, like, a botnet, or, like, there's going to, they're going to siphon something. Like, there, there's going to be something that goes on. Alright, like, it, it is just going to be that. I don't think... You know, and, and it's more and more sad because people don't stand up to this kind of thing. Because they just want to play the game. That's why games like League need better alternatives, alright? There's no real alternative if you want to play League. There's like Dota. Dota also sucks ass. So no one wants to play Dota. It's just how it is. Wow, that was super unfortunate. Are you fucking kidding me? Great, whatever. Hopefully he at least lost Toy Merchant. I'm so mad, I hate this character. This character instantly ruins, like, my want to play IDV, like, anymore. Like, I just want to turn the game off and go do something else. Like, the moment I get a photographer on my screen. So anti-fun. Anti-skill as well. Like, there's nothing skillful about photographer either, which is another big problem I have with him. You don't need any brain cells to play this character. I can say this now, because I got it literally went and got a B-badge on him. Or not a B-badge, a C-badge on him. Like, easily. I barely even lost any games. He's just so brainless. I had no enjoyment playing with him. Like, I didn't use intelligence the entire time. Like, I did a little bit when I figured out a strategy that I purposely made to be, like, super you know, easy, because I didn't want to learn, like, complicated photographer shit. And so I made a strategy, and that, that strategy was just the most brainless, easy thing to do ever. And just free wins, basically. It's so fucking... Ugh, I hate this character. Anyway. There's, like, a list if you're curious coffee there there is a list good luck catching me on the boar dickhead I mean I know you are a photographer and you move stupidly fast but you're just not gonna get me here and I'm just gonna run away from all the ciphers and there's not a thing you can do about it. Yeah. 
That moment when you think you can chase Wildling. Yeah. Alright, Aggie. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Hopefully work goes well. Yes, yes, Wildling gameplay. Um, I'm done. I'm just, I'm playing Wildling. I have, I have no more patience left. Just gonna spam Wildling games. You can't chase Wildling. I mean, you saw the, the hunter tried to chase me. Like, look how well that worked out for him. You just can't hit Wildling. Maybe if you play Opera, maybe if you play Geisha. Otherwise, you just don't hit Wildling. Should pop the cipher. Please pop a priestess. Thank you. If he's gonna do this, then we just need to counter it by opening the gates. Hopefully just doesn't make any difference. He might try to terror shock, pop out the photo world here. Yep, yep. Mm hmm. The good news is he can't chase me, so I can just walk like over here. Or never mind. He might just stand at the gate. Wait, what? Uh oh. I forgot about the, the cooldown thing. I forgot how the cooldowns worked. Uh oh, chat. Uh oh, spaghettio. I'm gonna fuck off as far away as I can. I wasn't paying attention to my boar. That's not good. Alright, well, I know where dungeon is. I, I think cookies should just get up. Would have really preferred if they... Like, can they not self-heal? Oh, no way. Okay, I'm coming. I don't know if this gate is open or not. I feel like it should have been opened, but I don't know. This is the annoying part about, uh, about Photo. Is this gate? It's not open. i make sure he doesn't come in the Photo world. Oh, there it is. I don't know if I can make it to the Priestess in time. Hopefully I can. Problem is I have to go through a camera to get to her. And Wildling moves, like, slower, just by default. Wow. Wow, that's fucking so annoying. Could have gone in the boar, maybe, and reached her. Maybe it was my mistake. He does not deserve this win. Does not deserve this one at all. I can't do anything. My boar cooldown is just too short. Man, that's such a lucky... Un uh, see, that's so undeserving. That's so undeserving of the win. This is why, though, by the way, chat, all right, we can have a learning moment here. If you're playing Priestess, don't, don't use your global portal outside of the gate like that. Go to the gate and, like, actually use it, and rank is done, of course. Of course we had to end like that. I still got a point. Bro, I cannot get points today, man.
I cannot get points recently. I've just been having horrible luck. Man. Anyway, that'll do it for, for now. Stream tomorrow. Yeah, see you guys.